What's going on guys, it's ETA Prime back here again. Today I am super excited to be the first one to announce the Raspberry Pi X. Now the X doesn't stand for 10 like Apple does with their phones. This actually stands for Extreme. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to test any benchmarks or anything on this board just yet because the tech packed into this little board is so advanced, nobody's been able to write an operating system for it yet. But hopefully by the year 2022, we'll get something that works with this thing. Now, I'm not even supposed to be showing this board off yet, but I know you guys are probably as excited as I am by now. They kept the same Raspberry Pi form factor and the 40 GPIO pins, but you might notice a few things are different here. We do have USB 4.0, and this is not powered by micro USB anymore. This is USB Type-D. Plus, the whole HDMI interface has been overhauled with HDMI 5.27. This will allow up to 18K resolution out of this thing. With all the power that this board puts out, they've had to relocate the CPU on the bottom, and this is due to heat exchange. They're running a new Rockchip 9999. So I want to go over the specs of this new board real quick, and then we'll get into the release date and things like that. But as you already know, this is called the Raspberry Pi Extreme, or the Raspberry Pi X. For the CPU, we have the RK9999. This has 7.5 cores at 2.8 gigahertz. It's running the new ARM Slipstream architecture, so they've gone away with the Cortex numbers here. As for RAM, we're getting 3.75 gigabytes of LPDDR3.3. And for the GPU, this is rocking the all-new Mali 605-777-8456-90210. It's 11.5 GPU cores at around 1.8 GHz. As for pricing, nothing's been written in stone as of making this video. And as for the release, this thing will never come out because this is my April Fool's joke. I do this every single year and I'm not going to stop now. I know a lot of people are going to be upset. Some people will get the joke and they're going to laugh with me, but I'm going to get a ton of dislikes on this video. Guaranteed. It happens every single year. But you really should have caught on around 30 seconds into the video when I was mentioning USB 4.0 and USB Type-D, especially 18K resolution out of a little single board computer like this. We're way off from stuff like that. So there it is, my 2019 April Fool's joke. Really appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you share this with your friends. I'm sure you can get a couple people today. And like always, thanks for watching.